What's up guys, this is Ghoulip97, and well, I burned some memes on a DVD-R. Pretty cool, right? It's basically, on this DVD-R is full of memes I collected all over Discord and Instagram and other, and other social media like Twitter and Gab. See this? Yeah, it's meme stash. I written some, I written, and I written some direction, I written some information about it in Korean. Yeah. That's right. I written some. I written. I written in both. I written on the disc in both Korean and English. So yeah, information about the disc is in is on that on that piece of paper thingy, on that on the cover of the on the cover of that freaking DVD. I mean yeah DVD, a uh, DVD case that is, and I written in Korean. That's full of memes, and you can insert it into your computer. Yeah, I written I written in Korean. I looked up Korean on. I looked up. I looked up. I just used Google Translate and 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 made sure it was act. Made sure and made sure I was writing. I was writing what I intended to write in Korean. Pretty cool, right? Why I written it? Why would I write that in Korean? Well, that's a secret. So yeah, I was on my way home to play my Xbox or my Nintendo. So yeah, I'm just doing good. Yep, I'm just on my way home to play my Xbox or my Nintendo or my PlayStation if I can get it to work. So yeah, for some reason my PS1 can't read discs anymore, which stinks. But I'll find a way to fix it. I'll find a way. I'll find a way. So yeah, I'm just doing my thing, you know what I'm saying? Just try my best. Try my best to please the Lord, you know? Try my best to have a relationship. I'm doing what I can to have a relationship with Christ, you know? It's good stuff. Because God's been telling me to archive memes and other data onto discs and tapes, you know? Because I know God's preparing me for something, just like how he prepared Noah for the flood. What's up guys, this is Ghoul97, and well, we're going to play Hot Wheels Turbo Racing. But first I got something to show you guys. That's right. I burned two DVDs full of memes. One was from last month. One was from this month. Yeah, one was memes I collected last month. This is one memes I collected this month. Pretty sweet, right? You can clearly see the data that's on this disc. You can clearly see the data that's burned, how much data is burned on this disc. I collected four gigabytes of memes. Yeah, I don't mess around here. So yeah, I'm doing good. See, so yeah, let's play some games already, shall we? And I just hopped off of TikTok again because it was getting boring. Yeah, TikTok was getting boring. Nobody was getting triggered. Hot Wheels Turbo Racing. People weren't paying attention to me. People weren't paying. People weren't freaking getting. People weren't going on my videos anymore. So I decided, eh, it was boring. So why not? Why not just leave? Shadow Jet. I gotta sign in. Mystery cars, and I'm gonna drink a 7 Up. It's also known as the Uncola.
Punk. Now I'm playing as a different car today for for a part of the video until I find other cars. Punk. Pretty cool, right? So yeah. Yeah, people are at it again. Puck. Yeah, the neurotypicals are at it again. I seen a lot of political ads, yo, know, talk about y'all you know, how Kamala Harris will will be good, will do good things for all of us, which is lies. Which is bull, bull crap lies, man. Come, Kamala Harris making empty promises, is just making empty promises. I don't trust her. I know people are calling me racist and misogynistic for it, even though, even though race and, even though race and sex have nothing to do with it. it has nothing to do with this. Yeah, these neurotypicals are going to call me homophobic, racist, or transphobic, or misogynistic. Even though those things have nothing to do with why I don't like Kamala Harris. They're going to call me racist and misogynistic because you just don't want a woman present. No. Sex and gender and, 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 no. Sex and race had nothing to do with it. Sex and race had nothing to do with it. It has nothing to do with this. But I digress. I'm just doing my thing, you know? Crap. Okay, I got I got turned around. But I got I got I got spun all around by by one of the better competitors, but I can come I can get back in the lead. Sorry, I got to scratch my forehead. There we go. I know Kamal Harris, yo, she she actually she actually had she had a long time. She had four years, three or four years to freaking fix. She's promising to fix the border and fix the economy. Well, she had four years to do so. She had three or four years to do so. So why even try now? So why now? So we're all wondering, why now? Anybody with the brain would wonder, why is she promising to fix this stuff after she gets elected? After she would get elected, if not, if she can't do it now. Why can't she do it now and only when after she gets elected? Hmm. It is proved that Kamala Harris is not gonna do any, get any, of, that, any of that good stuff for our country. <laughs> She's only making empty promises, and people are falling for her because she's a woman. And people only believe her because she, people only trust her because people only want her because she's a woman, and that's it. Well, I don't care. If, I don't care if my president's a man or a woman. I only care about the president being competent to run our country. Someone who won't attack our, somebody who won't, somebody who will help our country instead of hurt it. Well, the Democrat, but the left is all only about, the left only cares about what race or what sex or what, or what other category you're part of. They don't care about any good stuff. They only, they only care about the ministry, they don't care about any important stuff, I mean. They only care about, they only care about what sex they are, what race they are, only what, what, whatever category they are. And that's bullshit. They only want Kamala Harris because she's a woman, that's it. They only like her because she's a woman, and that's that's judging people by their sex. That's that's. Oh, why am I even freaking bother? Why do I bother even freaking pointing this stuff out? The neurotypicals aren't going to freaking aren't aren't going to freaking con grasp that concept anytime soon.
heard there are supposedly some Trump. I heard some political ads. There are some some people who supposedly were Trump supporters who are now voting for Democrats. Which is yeah, I highly doubt that anybody with a anybody in their right mind would freaking want to vote for a Democrat at this point. Yeah, I, I, I think most of these people are fake. Most of these people who think that, who most of these people, most if not all these people who are, who are, who, who, who used to be Trump supporters now voting Democrats, I think they're probably just fake, either fake or brainwashed. Most likely they're fake. Most likely they're just fake people. Most likely they're just fake. They're only doing that to undermine Trump, which is a pretty cheap move. That's a pretty cheap move, man. That's a cheap move. Puff. And I checked on Isabella Scarlet's freaking Twitter, and she's still, she's still making ridiculous shit, making ridiculous statements because she's a pedophile. But she wants to distract people from the fact that she's a pedophile. I got third place. Oh well. People who hate on straight people, these heterophobic neurotypicals. Yeah, they're gonna be in like a fire. They're gonna be in like a fire soon. I keep warning them that they're freaking being that their time is running out. That they're being that they're that they're being bigots. That they're being the very thing that they that they pretend to be against. But they say it's not the same because you straight people are the oppressors. Blah blah blah. It's like. Okay, fine. Keep living your little lie. Keep living your little fantasies. Keep living your little <clears throat> persecution fantasies. These neurotypicals like to like to have a persecution fetish. You know what I'm saying? These heterophobes are basically a bunch of neurotypicals who like to have a persecution who have a persecution fetish. They hate on straight people, then claim they're the victor, only the victims, because they have a persecution fetish. Because queer people have a persecution fetish. Funny how the left was all about free expression until somebody called himself super straight or expressed they don't want to date they, they want to date only biological women. Crazy, right? Puff. Perfect. 
effect. Some are sold, eh? Hands down. Here we go. These narrow people will say, well, we just want people to be positive. You street people are so negative. Oh, really? Because uh, I didn't know a street boy were the ones saying kill all men and straight people need to die out. No. They call people negative for not agreeing with them. And they say it should be more like these, more like people my age. People, Some people say I'd be more like people my age because to be positive. Oh, well, last time I checked, yo, freaking... Last time I checked, biological males showering with little girls is not positive. Last time I checked, not that's not positive. Most, I heard most, what I've seen, most guys my age freaking pretend they're women so they can go into women's bathrooms and locker rooms. Last time I checked, that's not positive. If that's what you consider positive and mature for my age, then that, then you guys have a skewed definition of what maturity is. Some folks say I'm, I'm immature for my age just because I play video games and like, and watch anime. Oh really? That I should be more like people my age? Be more like men my age? Well, most men, my, most men in Western in Western nations, most men my age pretend they're women. In order, to, most men my age men pretend that they're women, so they can get so they can get into women's restrooms and locker rooms. So yeah, if that's what if that's how I'm supposed to act, well, I don't play by the rules. I guess I don't play by the rules. Because last time I checked. Pretending you're a grown man, pretending he's a woman, so he can get in the women's locker rooms and 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 bathrooms is not po is not mature or positive in any way. But you know all these Western, but we're talking about these Western neurotypicals here. If you expect them to have actual rational reasoning, you must live in a different. If you expect them to have national, well, not national. But then again, we were talking about these Western neurotypicals here. If you expect to have rational reasoning, then you must live on a different planet too. Crazy stuff, crazy world we live in. They say, oh, Gulb is bitching again. Well, I have good reasons to bitch. I have good reasons. I have good reasons. Unlike you neurotypicals who complain about straight white men are so empowered, blah, blah, blah. When that's not even, that's not even a thing. Most straight white men are not even, don't even, don't, straight white men don't have the power you think they do. 
if anything, you have that power, you neurotypicals. But I know you neurotypicals aren't going to comprehend that because it doesn't fit your agenda. It doesn't fit your racist pedophile agenda. Destruction. Biscuits. Puff. Biscuits again. All right, <clears throat> I can get back in the lead. Tornado, nice. Puff. Puff.
go. Puff. Well, I hope you guys like this video. Be sure to like and subscribe, and be sure to follow me on my Truth Social, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. Yeah, because, you know, one of my pastors on Sunday told me that, well, told us during the message that the pastor was giving, I was told that we might not get Wi-Fi anymore. There might be time where our Wi-Fi or net would, uh, would go down. So I'm preparing, for, so maybe that's what I'm preparing for. You know what I'm saying? Because I know the globalists will try to shut everything down because they're getting exposed. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the globalists are trying to silence people who disagree with them and prove them wrong. It's pretty backward stuff, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just doing my thing. Trying to live life, you know? I once again show you the DVD I burned. So yeah. Well, I'm taking a long way, but hey, I'm recording right now. That was a close one. So yeah. I'm just going once again show you my DVD that I made. That I have written the information on in Korean. See this? And this? Yeah. I wrote information on the on the on the on the case in Korean, I wrote it on the case. I wrote it on the DVD case in Korean. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm just doing good. So yeah. I'm just on my way home to play either my, my Nintendo or my Xbox. You know? So yeah, I'm just doing my thing. Hopefully Trump will win this election so groceries can be affordable again. And we don't have to suffer with this inflation stuff. And maybe you can kick these illegal immigrants out. Hope you guys like this video. Be sure to like and subscribe. Be sure to follow me on Truth Social. Bye.